What's good everybody, Chassie here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about three different keyboards that I've been using since like 2019. I didn't have all three in 2019, but these are the three keyboards I've been using since then. I personally think having multiple keyboards is nice because throughout this video, you're gonna see that they all offer something different, unique, and I'm gonna break down the pros and cons for each keyboard. The three keyboards I'm gonna be talking about are the Logitech MX Keys, the Keychron K2 V2, and the Logitech Ergo K860. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I will greatly appreciate that. Out of all the three keyboards, the Keychron K2 V2 is the cheapest. And I'd say not a significant amount of money, but if you never thought about spending more than like $20 on a keyboard, then spending upwards of $100 might not be realistic. The other thing I really like about this keyboard that is a pro in my opinion is its small form factor, but it still gives you all the essentials that you need for programming. I also really like the tactile, is it tactile or tactical? Profile that adds a really nice aesthetic to my desk setup, I'm not gonna lie. And that little orange escape key just adds that perfect pop of color for the not only the keyboard, but my desk in general. Honestly, the mechanical keyboard typing experience is incredible, I'm not gonna lie. There's something about typing on a mechanical keyboard as a programmer. Yes, it can be annoying and can be viewed as pretty nerdy, but you can get different switches, like I mentioned earlier, that can mitigate that like clicky clacky loud noise that mechanical keyboards have when you're typing. So like I mentioned earlier, mechanical keyboards can be loud unless you go with a brown switch. I'm sure there are other switches out there, but Keychron only offers three and the brown switch is definitely the quietest. When it comes to comparing this keyboard to the Logitech keyboards, it doesn't offer as many features. And also keep in mind when I talk about the cons for these three different keyboards, it's really in comparison to each other because I think all three are great. Other than those cons that I just mentioned, this keyboard is great. It's been my go-to the past like six months and I think one of the major reasons why is because of its minimal profile and the RGB back lighting that it offers that just really sets the mood for my setup. And there's no doubt that MX Key is the king of keyboard efficiency. The reason this keyboard has a special place in my heart is because I worked with Logitech for the release of the MX Keys back in the summer of 2019. I even went all the way to Switzerland to learn more about the Master Series and was even able to go to the lab where they tested the MX Keys features. What makes this keyboard unique is that it was specifically built and designed for programmers. So this is probably the most fluid and natural typing experience offered between the three. The spherically dished keys match the shape of my fingertips perfectly and the matte coating feels good on my fingertips, making it pretty effortless to glide over the surface of the keyboard. The sleek minimal profile and design of this keyboard with a smart illuminating keyboard that fades away when you leave your desk and with just one swipe of the hand, they re-illuminate. I usually go to this keyboard when I need to be as efficient as possible, whether that's to edit a, a video quickly or finish up a feature when it comes to programming. When it comes to programming, efficiency is really, really important for us programmers. Okay, so now that I talked about the specifications of the MX keys that makes it not only unique, but also that I view as pros when compared to other keyboards, let's talk about some of the things I've really enjoyed about using this keyboard. As a matter of fact, I actually have two. You can actually customize this keyboard using Logitech Options, which is an app built specifically for Logitech peripherals like the MX Master 3 mouse, the Logitech Ergo K860 that I'll talk about a little bit later, and of course the Logitech MX Keys. This keyboard also pairs not only functionally with the MX Master 3, which I think is the perfect mouse for not only programming, but really everything in my opinion, especially when it comes to productivity, but it also aesthetically 
pairs well and just the two together look really sophisticated. There's not too many cons when it comes to the MX keys and I guess you could say that the price because it costs more than a Keychron K2 V2 but like $10 and you're getting a lot more functionality. I do wish that this keyboard wasn't so flat. Out of the three it's definitely the most flat and I wish there was like a little bit better angle that would maybe feel a little bit more comfortable for my wrists but they do have a palm rest that you can use that works great and feels really comfortable on your forearm. Palms and wrists. I do wish there was some sort of like RGB lighting. I'm not really sure how that would fit the profile of this keyboard. I'm not sure if that would look okay since it's not a mechanical keyboard, but different colors, like if the backlighting was different colors, I think that would add to the aesthetic and really enhance the look and feel of this keyboard. Moving on to the Logitech Ergo K860. So this keyboard has a lot of similarities to the MX keys from a functionality standpoint. If you've watched any of my desk setup videos, you know that ergonomics is a major part of my desk setup experience. And I reached out to Logitech to try out this keyboard after the MX keys about a year ago because I was looking for a more ergonomic option where maybe my wrists are feeling a bit uncomfortable or I know I'm gonna be at my desk all day and wanna save my wrists from carpal tunnel. Also, this keyboard offers a lot more wrist support because of that split ergonomic keyframe. The K860's curved keyframe allows you to place your hands, wrists, and forearms to be placed in a more natural posture. The wrist support is actually really comfortable because there are three types of comfort and support. There's a surface layer, a support layer, and a comfort layer. With that being said, this keyboard is a bit bulky and it takes some getting used to that like split frame. I just, it still takes me some time to get used to, especially if I don't use the keyboard for an extended amount of time, although it is very comfortable on my wrist. I also really don't find myself being as effective or efficient programming or doing any productivity tasks using this keyboard compared to the Keychron K2 and the MX keys. Also out of the three keyboards, this is the most expensive. So really, if you're using this keyboard, it's really for an ergonomic standpoint. The moment you all have been waiting for, which keyboard is best for programming? Before I give you that answer, just know that there's no really perfect keyboard and it really depends on what you care about the most. Like some people really want a mechanical keyboard and I'm gonna think about like membrane type of keyboards. So then that rules out the Logitech keyboard that I discussed in this video. And some of you all want a keyboard that is really ergonomic. So maybe the split frame is best for you. But in my opinion, I think the best when it comes to programming between the three is the Logitech MX keys and not trying to be biased because yes, Logitech did send me this keyboard, but the reason being is because when it comes to being effective, efficient, you know, being able to customize it through the Logitech options app, pairing it with the MX Master 3, along with all the extra features this keyboard gives you, it's the best one. It just gives you everything that you need. You may not have one thing that's better than all the other keyboards, but I think holistically it's better than the other two options. The, the ergonomic keyboard is great for ergonomics, but not when it comes to quickly like typing and getting things done. The Keychron K2 V2 is a great keyboard, but maybe sometimes it can feel a bit small and cramped for those of you all who have bigger hands, along with not having some of the features that the MX Keys offers. And lastly, the MX Keys was literally dedicated for programmers. And anyone that I know that uses this keyboard absolutely loves it. There's a reason why I have two. So that concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're still here, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below which one you think is the best or which keyboard you're using on a daily basis. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I will see you all soon. Peace.